Oakley Dokley. Hello everyone, this is Sahara Drag of SCLegacy.com and uh, let me tell you something. It is hotter than Lucifer's ball sack in my room. Yeah, I just made that up. It's really hot in here though. That's my point. I have the fan off, I actually remembered. That way you don't hear it in the microphone, so I'm really hot. I do that for you, the fans. Yeah, big sacrifices for you guys. And I'm casting a game between OGS Superstar Superstar and Who Human uh, playing on the map. Frick map is this? Uh, Delta Quadrant, which is a cool map. I think I think this is one of those maps that pretty much no one really hates. But you know, it's not like mind-blowingly great either. But you know, I like it. Um, anyways, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, that tournament, that casters cast themselves tournament. Thank you so much, to everyone who went in that thread and said, "Yay, Sahara." You say you Sahara because he's my hero. I appreciate that a lot, and actually, uh, uh, they got their panties all twisted or whatever because you guys don't have high post counts. So it's like what, you know, bullshit. You know, <laughs> like it just says in the original post. You know, hey, you know, people need to come vote for their favorite caster, so that's what you guys were doing. And I'm still not on the list there. Um, looks like they're probably not going to include me. I guess they have a problem with me or something, but uh, I really appreciate the effort. I w really wanted to participate, but uh, maybe they'll maybe they'll find a slot for me anyways, hopefully, right? But uh, back to the game. Who human? Scouts very luckily find Zerg first. This is a four base map, and he scouted counterclockwise. I also always count ca scout counterclockwise. If you ever play me 1v1, remember that. It might help you out in the beginning. I mean, you can't, like, choose where you spawn, but you can at least avoid my scouting path or something. So, yeah, he finds him. Um, and, you know, it's not like scouting counterclockwise is better or something. It's just the way I go. So, Cybernetics core going down. Um, that's exactly what Zerg was sticking around to see. He's like, I'm going to put this dude right here, this caterpillar with big old eyeballs. I'm going to put him right here until I see a second gate or a Cybernetics core. I don't know why I decided he was a southerner. I just, I guess I'm just in the southerner kind of mood today. But, uh, so here's the, uh, fast expand. Pretty dangerous, actually, in these positions, but, uh, going forward anyways, I mean, it wasn't a fast, fast expand, but it was, I mean, it was after pool and everything, but it's still an early expansion, is what I'm saying. Let's say early expand, not fast expand, okay? Is that better? Jeez, you guys are so nitpicky. I heard you. I heard you guys complaining. But, uh, anyways... Anything going down at the Cybernetics Core? Of course, the Warp Gate technology and the Chrono Boosted Stalker. A very classic opening for Protoss. And, uh... Probably going to get a Sentry after that, if one had to guess. Because Sentries are really good with ramps in emergency situations. I'm going to chase these Zerlings right on out of here. But, uh, no pressure from the Protoss, so this expansion is probably going to get up just fine. Um, you can start spreading some creep. And, uh, yeah. Um, if you guys didn't know, uh, the GOM TV GSL StarCraft II League in Korea. Hold that thought. Gonna harass some uh, some queenage with this stalker. Uh, looks like he is gonna get chased out though. Uh, good micro there from the stalker though. Um, he's actually uh, gonna keep harassing because uh, and just force uh, basically force the Zerg to make links, which he you know doesn't want to make. No Z no Zerg player wants to make links. That's their secret that they don't want anyone to know that like. If they could play every game without ever hitting the Z button, they would. Because, uh, you know, they'd rather make cooler, better, high-tech stuff. But the Lings are finally, uh, you know, just a good back and forth here. So while we watch this uh, little uh, cat and mouse play, I'm just going to get back to my thought on the GSL. Um, it's uh, commentated by Artosis and Tasteless, and, uh, you know, which are just legendary casters, just great dudes. And, uh... I honestly think uh, this tournament, this GSL tournament, is uh, like the most important tournament. Hold on, let's see if he gets these lanes up this ramp. He doesn't have a sentry, so he would. No, he's going to back out. But uh, I really think uh, this first GSL is going to be really, really, really crucial to the future of this game as an eSport. So if you love this game, and if you love this game as an eSport, you guys should all watch the GOM TV GSL at GOMTV.net. Um, also, give the people 20 bucks, you know? Like to watch the stream in high quality and to get the VODs and all that. I mean, it's $20 for like a month of entertainment constantly coming to you. Like, how much do you pay to go to the movies? 10 bucks? Like, it's way better than a couple of friggin' movies, dude. Like, it's not a big deal. Like, I, people think they're entitled to everything on the internet and I don't really get it, you know? 
you're being I mean this is a really prestigious tournament and if you show why am I hearing these lasers I keep hearing lasers oh okay damn but anyways if you love Starcraft you know you know uh, invest in its future by investing in esports and uh, watch the uh, GSL so that's that's it for the guilt trip today sorry about that but I just wanted to get on my pedestal for a second Roach is coming on out and uh, the expansion is getting uh, finally getting some good amount of workers on it and the lair is just starting I almost said almost finished and I realized that was spawn larva so just starting his lair getting a second gas up and looks like we might see mm, he's selecting the lings he's not doing anything with them yet he's just selecting them over and over but uh... takes out these rocks uh... he moves these lings into a nice little conga line and uh... yeah that's them doing conga line i can't help it i don't know why i have to feel like i needed little voices but i just do when i see little guys running around the screen so finally got the sentry out and uh, if, if you take a look over here we have a ooh. now this is where this game gets interesting Pro, uh, brought a probe and a warp prism and then uh, built a pylon here hmm I like that that's very interesting so he's building spine crawlers uh, because he sees uh, Protoss kinda kinda getting squirrely moving out of his base a little bit so here's these stalkers here is he gonna blink up here for vision that would be quite handsome let's see let's see what happens here no not yet and yet yeah, there it is okay he's gonna wait for his blink cooldown that's pretty cute I'm not gonna lie that's that's cute like uh, Luke Perry or that delightful um, who's cute who do girls who do girls think is cute now uh, J Justin Bieber right that's his name yeah that's how cute that blink play was and uh, but it's not over yet because there's the blink I just missed let's hit it right back I mean and we've all seen blink but I was talking about it so we should at least watch it Blinking right up in here. Um, if Zerg had expanded here first, that'd be extra bad news. But there goes an Overlord. Um, Zerg is just not ready for this at all. Completely. Oh my god. Nice blink down here behind the drones. Oh, beautiful play. Um, uh, roaches are going to come try and take care of these uh, stalkers, but I don't even think it's enough. And he's blinking right back. Oh my goodness. This is abusive. This is just straight up abusive. Like, I love it. This is great play. Great and uh... wow so cool just keeping the zerg i mean this is not just keeping the zerg on his toes this is keeping the zerg fully freaked out and in trouble look at that great blink micro um... so coming in here hitting more drones and look at this look what zerg's forced to do this is fucking awesome and uh... i'd really like to see him get this sentry involved in here of course sentry does not have blink but you know so just continuing to blink in more stalkers just and if you're wondering how he does that, um, he'll, he right clicks over here, shift cues up the blink maneuver, and then shift cues another move. So they so they blink in a train. And uh, sorry, I missed a little bit of a battle there, but it's just uh, Queen does get the transfuse down on the hydralis before it goes down. But uh, drones are fighting now, and uh, ooh, it's gonna be hard. Uh, a bunch of roaches hatched uh, by a bunch. I mean five. But there's there's a hydra too, so there at least uh, Protoss isn't gonna win right this second. Uh, but this is cool, man. This is like, this is some high-level stuff, and I'm very impressed by this play. And, and you see now what I mean by these these races' hidden potentials that that are just waiting to be discovered. This is what I'm always talking about. You know, these kind of plays, these kind of ex exploitive uses of your race. And uh, yep, he's just going to keep this up. At some point, I think Zerg's going to be forced to counter. Uh, because he can't, I mean, he can't keep doing this, you know. So here he is. I bet you we see him blink over here. Oh, no, he's blinking right back. Okay. Interesting. You think he'd keep, oh, the spine crawler's there now and there's no drones. Okay. Yeah. He's smarter than me as hoo human. Loading up a sentry into the warp prison. How so Let's see what goes on here. Oh, is he going to block the ramp and then blink over? So there's the great blink micro. He's going to drop this sentry. And then force field the Zerg forces into the... Oh my god! That is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Straight up. I've seen a lot of cool things. That was awesome. Force fields are down. 
Is he going to take out the hatchery? Uh, yeah, he's definitely going to take out that hatchery. And now he's going to get the heck out of here. Oh, that was so awesome. Oh, wow. This is a cool game. I'm really glad I downloaded this one. Um, <laughs> sorry, I just get really excited about StarCraft. Um, I used to get excited about, like, girls bending over in shorts and, uh, you know, girls without shirts and girls that, like, looked in my general direction, but now I just get excited about Blink Micro, because uh, it's way better. So here comes a nice warp in here on the edge of this uh, energy matrix, and this guy's Stoke. My brethren, please do not leave me behind. Thank you. And, um, yeah, I uh, don't think there's, a, I mean, this is just brutal, brutal, brutal aggressiveness from these uh, Blink Stalkers, and, uh, just awesome use of the skill. I mean, this is when when they first announced Blink back in the alpha days, like way back when they were StarCraft II was still in the early development. These are the kind of things we imagined would happen, you know. Like now we're finally seeing them, and I'm going to sneeze. It's going to be fantastic. <coughs> and uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, back when they first announced Blink, this is the kind of stuff that we wanted to see, and now we're finally seeing it, you know. Oh, now I I. I have the sniffers. Little bulb has got the sniffers. And this is something he could have done sooner. Um, but, I mean, uh, it, it's... Uh, man, I'm not... Yeah, like, if, if this gets really popular with the with the pro PVZ, uh, Zerg's going to have to figure out something really quick to stop this sort of uh, play. I mean, obviously, the map is conducive to it, and you can't do it on every map, but you can still do a play like this on a lot of maps. So keeping the Zerg down to one base this entire time and uh, just... Mining like crazy over here in his really well protected expansion. Oh, sorry, I haven't brought this up yet at all. Wow, 62 probes to 34 drones. Yeah, there's no way Pro Zerg's going to win at that with that kind of uh, worker count. Sorry, I didn't use the tabs more. I was just really enthralled by the game itself. So the Colossi's up. That's going should be needs to be shooting these hydralists actually. I mean, it's funny the things you see like. You, you see this amazing, awesome play, and then you see a, a simple little mistake like that going down. So this fight doesn't need to be this close at all, but unfortunately it's pushed back now, and I actually think that's 100% because um, he was uh, hitting roaches and a queen with his Colossi rather than Hydras. But luckily this Colossi is going to come reinforced, so... Yeah, we're probably going to see the GG. Oh, we're not going to see the GG. He's mad. He's mad about that blink abuse. <laughs> Hell, I would be too. So yeah, that was a cool game. Um, wow, I liked that. I'm sure other casters cast that. I'm sorry if they did. I don't have, I don't, I'm not going to like check every caster's channel, you know, but hopefully I made it entertaining, you know, and uh, yeah, you enjoyed it. Um, if I don't end up getting that tournament, you know, that sucks, but I hope I do, and uh, what else? Uh, thanks for watching, I guess, and uh, hell, I th think I have strong feelings for you, and they're not just like purely platonic. No, I'm not talking to everyone right now, I'm talking to you. Yes, you, no, no, no. This this recording is just for you. Mm hmm.